now uh, we have done our some activities and now we are going to do one more activity that is known as actually we are breaking the ice breaking the walls around you so the more you participate in that the more active you will be right so it is very interesting one and the topic is that which is your preferable means of transport to your work or to your study place so which one is that right so here i will just ask you uh, and you will need to speak on that for one minute and then what you need to do is to tell the whole story which you will be telling me to your uh, person who is sitting beside you you will just tell that to your fellow uh, again in your own words right so first of all uh, this is uh, your preferred your favorite means of transport to your work or to your destinations every day which mode of transport do you prefer right so this is there so we will just start from you yes one minute please your time starts now it is most preferable yeah. it is preferable transport for me great because it is very mm. fast mm. for travel yeah very comfortable as well fully air conditioned fully <laughs> fully uh, heated in winters right wonderful very nice yes Okay. Right. I find it more safe than the car. Wonderful. Very nice. Because there's so much mess going on in our country, like mm. cases that are going Uber on. actually. I don't find car more. Exactly. That is a blessing for all of yes. us, actually. So right. I prefer Uber or Uber. Very nice. Great. Good. Yes. Your preferred mode of transport. I prefer orange train because it's okay. the most Right. True. Mm -hmm. Or there was a friendly moment. Mm -hmm. Or there is not so much now. It's a girl or boy. All right. Right. Wonderful. Anywhere, and it doesn't take more space. You conveniently you can just uh, reach. I think so in ten minutes if you just go by car. So you can uh, you can just reach there by half an hour. So it saves much of your time. Okay. Wonderful. Very nice. Yes. Your favorite mode of transport. Yeah. Okay. Right. Good. Right. It's also available by uh, different services by Uber or Kareem as well. Great. Exactly. Wonderful. Also, changing rickshaws is also great. All right. That's true. Yes. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. And very uh, fast mode of commuting. Fast mode of commuting. Commuting means to travel every day on daily basis. If you are traveling, so it means you are commuting, right? If you are going to your college every day or to your office every day, so uh, you can use travel as well. But the good word for that can be commute. So. You commute every day, so you travel every day to some same destination. Commute means to travel every day to your work or your studies. Commute is a very good word. It's a verb. Right. So uh, next, uh, the person sitting beside in, yes, you. Yes. What is your favorite mode of transportation? All right. Okay. Right. Wonderful. Can easily ride on it. Everyone can ride it fast and can reach on the proper destination. But the thing is that for to the bikers that they shouldn't violate the rules actually when they just use curving pattern. So that is really very horrible. 
for the people who are just going on their right way, so they just get disturbed. That happens to you? Yeah, it happens to us, every one of us. All right, wonderful. So, do you want to participate? Okay, right, yes, please. Transport I use every day. Mm -hmm. uh, it is more like I don't prefer it. Okay. I have no other options. Right. Uh, so I use metro. Mm -hmm. uh, or in line train. Okay. Uh, it goes from my home mm -hmm. to my uh, university. Okay. But if I were to choose a mm -hmm. uh, mode of transportation, I would like to be teleported from my home to my university. Wow. Skipping <laughs> all kind of. Torment, very good word. Torment means pain, def definitely, difficulty. So, torment is very good word. It's a nice word. Torment, to avoid all that, torment. Torment means pain or difficulty. All right, wonderful. Right, next. Um, I like to travel by public transport. There hmm. are certain reasons why hmm. I prefer to this kind of transport because. I believe in uh, listening to different stories by people okay. who belong to different cultures mm. who have come to the hall to experience new life. Yep. And besides my class fellows, I want to explore new dimensions of life. True. Because I want to live a different life parallel, in parallel. Great. Uh, I usually experience these kind of things through books, mm. through plays, as I mentioned earlier. Yeah, yeah. True. And listening to stories and telling them my own experiences, I believe these are very great things to experience in life. That's wonderful. Very nice. Great. Uh, I like to travel on a on vehicle uh, because I'm very conscious about time management. Mm. And one thing for that, uh, I have a lover of nature. So, uh, as well on uh, car mm. or bike, yeah. uh, but where is I, I want to see something, I, I stop there mm. and enjoy the time. Okay. And when I was in other city, uh, I would mm. like to travel on public transport right. uh, uh, because uh, ritual is on both <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's wonderful. They always create mass for you? They always create mess for you exactly. and you are easily irritated exactly. and becomes surly. Surly kya hota hai? Chid chida insaan jo ho jata na, wo ho hi jata when you are just going towards heavy traffic. So it's a good word to use for irritated, surly, S-U-R-L-Y. And the other word for that is irritated and the other word can be like grumpy, G R. U M P Y. So it's grumpy. So we get grumpy. Some people get grumpy when they just drive on roads, especially of Pakistan. Right. Okay, yes. So since I came here in the university, hmm. because I live in Faslava. Alright. So now I shift now. Hmm. Okay. So now I hope that you can hear me right. Now my hospital is quite near, so I don't use any means of transport to access the university. Hmm. So I go on for and Great. Uh, when I, for example, go to spend vacations or weekends and uh, right. I go by bus and mm. uh, this uh, takes, I think, two hours to reach there. Okay. And uh, during these two hours, for example, coming from home to hostel or hostel to home, mm -hmm. I spend this time, <coughs> for example, I travel in Devon, so there is a screen before me, mm -hmm. so I used to watch okay. some of these. All right. Sometimes right. I, and listen to my podcast on my mind. Great. So and you nice. can enjoy the natural scenery out of that as well, if you just yeah, look yeah. Because, uh, out of the window as well, yeah. not only on that screen. Yeah, I left it as well. Okay. Because uh, it travels through waterways, so yeah. there are a lot of exactly. landscapes. Great, landscapes. Great. landscapes. Nice word. Whatever uh, you have mentioned, your preferred mode, then uh, after you are giving direct answer, you can add one reason that why do you like that so give reasons you can add one example to give it more length so you can give example to that and you can come back again to your main point for any question you can apply this formula that gave direct uh, answer then gave reason why do you think so you can add some advantages of that and then you can add one example and come back to your main point in other words so this is the method of giving length to your answer wonderful as you are mentioning that because that is very okay there are many other transports but i find 
riding bike the most comfortable and convenient and feasible one? Yes. The person in blue. Yeah. In blue actually means, um, I have just got, in blue means when you are sad. So, but that is a different phrasal verb. In blue, if you say that person in blue, in blue, so it means you are feeling sad. You feel sad. So, you can say that I am in blue or you can say I am feeling blue. Both are the examples. I am feeling blue mean I feel downcast. It means you are sad. Okay, but you are not sad, you are a cheerful person. Which one's your favorite transport? I like bike riding. Hmm. It's local. Yep. Local transport and I prefer Right. Okay. Wow. Wonderful. Nice project. Great. Good. Yes, you in pink. Okay. Great. Mm -hmm. Right. That's wise. Great. Yeah, wonderful. Thanks to Uber and Cream Sources. Great. Yes, in green. Yes. Sorry to interrupt you. So, green has also some other meaning as well. So, a person who is green. So, what does it mean? Green is a person who is beginner in some field, who is newcomer in some field. So, it means beginner. A person who has just started some field, in any field. So, that person is known as green. Not in green, but green. All right. So, don't ask uh, suggestions from uh, Mr. Peter. He is just green in the field of technology. So, that can be sentence of that. Yes, please carry on. Okay. Right. Uh, when I was uh, at very young age, my mother is from Kolkata. Okay. She used to travel uh, right. there uh, by a train. Mm. So I love to travel to it because it's an experience of its own. Okay. It gives me a better chance to meet new people and mm -hmm. I try to sit near the window. So right. uh, I can uh, see and observe what's going outside the place. Nice. And it's quite affordable and uh, it's a journey of uh, full of. Uh, Exactly. Of learning. All right. Wonderful. Actually, we have a lack of practice. So, this is nothing else. You have great knowledge of English. I know that. You can think, you can speak as well to yourself, but when you speak in front of people or with someone else, so definitely you feel hesitant. So, this is actually just the hesitation, nothing else. So, the only remedy for that is to speak more, to practice more, to do that uh, repeatedly. Right? So, wonderful. I am not just saying to you that is for all. And that word university is also not for that. I just wanted to correct that many people say that university. So, this is for uh, just the correction. Ma'am, I think every mode of transport is best. Okay. Mm. But, uh, my favorite is bicycle because I, uh, I uh, used to go to my university mm. bicycle. Okay. Uh, Okay, that's the best way to just to um, keep your health, to keep your fitness and uh, environmentally friendly as well it is definitely. Exactly, wonderful. I also wish that we could introduce this system in Pakistan. Yes, very nice. And it is good for all ages. There is not particular kind of group. So, it is even recommended. Uh, by uh, different uh, practitioners, by uh, doctors as well. Now I'd like to say uh, my favorite mode of transportation is a car, mm. whether it's Uber or Lyft. Mm. Because uh, I feel that uh, there is a lot of transportation in a car. I can sit like however I want. I can listen to music. I have AC and all. I feel much safer with a car. 
Okay. But uh, as a student, it is not really affordable. Hmm. Yeah. Contrary to popular belief, I don't feel safe traveling in a mm. speedo metro because as a woman, uh, as we all know, when we travel by transport, right. we have to face a lot of harassment. Mm. And yep. we also impact with a lot of people. Yeah. Which I am not a very big fan of. So mm. I pray that I get my own car as much as possible. Exactly. Right. All right. That's really wonderful. Where are you from? Uh, <laughs> from which hometown? <laughs> from which hometown? You are from Lahore? Yeah, I am from Lahore, yeah. Yeah, okay, that's fine. So, um, if someone asks you where are you from, so you have to mention about your city. That I am from this city, right? And if someone asks you where do you live, then you will mention the locality. Like, I live at Alamakbal town. Where do you live? I reside at, reside is from residence, reside means to live. I reside at Alama Iqbal town, right? Where are you from? I am from Lahore. You will mention your city's name. Okay, good. Yes, next. Okay, so uh, if I talk about my favorite mode of transportation, it would be I would love to own my own private jet. Okay. But that's not possible for right now. Mm -hmm. So I've Somewhat difficult. Okay, and I yeah. Okay, so wonderful. And and hmm. Yes. So I think so. Helicopter is better option. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> it can easily land as well. Wonderful. So for that, you should just do a lot of hard work, and inshallah, you can have that. Why not? So it is nothing like a just dream, which is which can't be fulfilled. So it could be fulfilled. So it's in your hand. Mashallah. Very nice. Great. So now you people have mentioned about your favorite transport, mode of transport. Now it's time to just share the same thing with your partner, one by one, right? So you are going to do this exercise within half a minute. Right, so now I want to give you letter A vocabulary because today is your first day of this class. So we will just finish from letter A to letter Z during our session. So today is the day for letter A. So just jot down those words on your notebooks. Jot down means to write. So jot down, J-O-T, jot down. So jot down those on your notebooks. First word is amiable, A-M-I-A-B-L-E. So amiable is basically adjective when you have got this quality so when you have got some characteristic so then we can say that you are amiable you have got the characteristics of being friendly right so amiable means very friendly so sentence could be like that my all friends are my all friends are amiable amiable so you can just look uh, the pronunciation in your talking dictionaries as well. Internet is available in your cell phones. So you can just uh, go and look the uh, and uh, listen to the pronunciation and also you can look at the pronunciation there is given. But I think so people who have just got through the linguistic kind of thing, they can understand those symbols. So it's better to uh, listen the pronunciation, right? So this is amiable. And the second word is affable, A double F and then able. It has the same meaning, very friendly. So you can just very friendly. So you can use the same sentence or any other sentence when you want to say that someone is friendly. So you can say that that person is affable. All right. So this is the word for being very friendly, affable. And the third word is agile, A-G-I-L-E. Agile is also adjective when someone has, um, you can say, you know, when someone is, is very quick, is very active, so that person is agile, like cat is an agile animal. So agility is a noun for that. Agility. 
so we should all have agility even in summer seasons <laughs> but <laughs> unfortunately uh, not so but you people are agile so it means it is adjective it means active very active okay next word with letter a so that is aggravate a double g r a v a t e aggravate is a verb it is action it means to lessen something to lessen the severity of something so actually when uh, with the verb we just put en with that so it becomes verb lessen means to reduce alleviate so you can say so same is the case with strong like strengthen so we should try to strengthen our unity with one another and all that so alleviate is also a good word for that alleviate is i think so most common word this is good one so first of all we will write alleviate i really like the word it's a double l e v i a t e alleviate so alleviate means to reduce or lessen the severity of something like of suffering pain or anything which is not good so alleviate so to lessen l e double s not o n but with e n so we should try to alleviate suffering of our people we should try to alleviate the sufferings of our people right so four words now fifth is coming on your way anonymous anonymous is word that is used for unknown. yeah unknown or without name or identity without identity or name identity or name so the sentence could be any sentence all right she wrote a novel anonymously without uh, giving name right without publishing her name anonymously i received a parcel anonymous parcel today so that is anonymous without name or identity so i received an anonymous parcel today so we have done half of them five sent five vocabulary words and next is atrocious a t r o c i o u s atrocious the word is very good but the meaning is opposite of that it means cruel Oppressive. exactly so it is also adjective if someone is cruel so you say that person is atrocious atrocious because we use we make use of this word cruel Uh, a lot of time actually so that is used for all tyrants and all kind of atrocity yeah atrocity is a noun so we can observe lot of atrocity much atrocity in kashmir atrocity right in exactly so indian army is atrocious towards kashmiris right so we have done six seventh is adept a d e p t adept is adjective and adept a d e p t adept means expert or skilled person a person who is skilled a person who is expert so that person is known as adept so expert so like you can say that dr abdul qadir khan is an adept scientist and he is adept at writing he is adept at writing he has started writing articles in different newspapers definitely very creative he is so definitely we really owe to him as well what we are doing uh, with freedom that's all owes to dr abdul qadir khan so wonderful great person right so adept means skilled so you can make any sentence dr a q khan 
is an adept scientist. Adapt is a verb. It means to make yourself exactly according to the new situation, new culture, or to new weather. To mold yourself, to mold yourself in a new environment or culture. So, its sentence could be like that, we should adapt ourselves in, in a new environment when we are in some new country. Alter, very easy word. Do you know the meaning of that? Yes. Change, to change something, good. So, we should try to alter our speaking habits by attending this class. We should try to alter our speaking habits. We should be more fluent in English from now, right? And last word, can you suggest me some good word with letter A? Very good. A L T A R. All right. So alter means uh, where you just go and slaughter uh, your uh, uh, animals or something like that, or sacrifice your animals. So that is alter. That is with A A L T A R. It means it's a place. It's a noun, name of a place, right? Uh, place where you sacrifice or slaughter and in past uh, during the time of Greeks and Romans you know that they used to sacrifice even human beings as well to uh, please their deities or to please their gods and goddesses. So altar uh, actually that is the same thing but now thanks goodness that we are sacrificing animals over there. So altar is the other word for that. So, now we are, we have completed 10 words with letter A. So, just uh, revise all of them and in the next session I will ask you the usage of that as well. And uh, I also want to learn uh, everything which I have taught you to make practice at maximum level as well. And now I just want to tell you to modern expressions before uh, going to rapid, right, before call it a day. So, to call it a day means to wrap it up, to wind up definitely. So, before calling it a day, we are going to do two modern expression. With A, there is also one word awesome. So, I really felt awesome here with you, right. So, and its opposite is awful, A-W-F-U-L, especially it is used for something which is unpleasant, especially it is used for weather, like the summer or uh, the, this kind of weather is awful, the food in this restaurant is awful, so that is also a word, awful is a good word, modern expressions and uh, the first one is I'm dying too. I am dying to does not mean that we people are going to die. I am dying to means that I really want something passionately. We want something intensely, right? Something you have cravings for. Exactly. You have craving for, definitely. So, when we want to show our desire, we want to show our desire right for something. So, it is not only for I, it can be for he, she, for anyone. So, I am dying to learn more, I am dying to learn more. So, this is going to be its usage. I am dying to and afterwards you can add any verb to make a good structure for that. I am dying to expand my shop. All right. So, uh, one more to go. So, second one is that is I am into. I am into means that I am interested in some activity. 
I m into means I am interesting in some activity right like I am into a, I am into cooking I am into asking questions okay I am into asking questions I am into painting right so this is there and it is very good habit to ask questions because this is the thing that make you more and more familiar with knowledge. So, if you do not put questions, so definitely our knowledge becomes restricted and limited, but if we just freely ask questions, so definitely we can get answers to many of our queries. So, it is very good. So, I am into answering the questions. So, these are two modern expressions. Uh, after it, you can use any noun. I am into cooking, I am into asking, I am into driving, I am into learning different languages, I am into uh, teaching, right. So, afterwards the structure will be noun and for that the structure will be I am dying to plus verb. So, I think so, uh, now we should call it a day. So, you have got that? Yes. Right. So, I hope that you have learned something today and you should just try to uh, immerse yourself with uh, maximum vocabulary words with all these activities and try to do tho that practice which I have already told you. Which one? To think in English and to speak in English so that you can listen to uh, your ears what you are saying. So, these two activities are really wonderful for you to learn English communication skills. Right. So, now it is time for questions if you have any. So, you are more than welcome to ask, but by raising hand you can just raise your hands and you can ask me questions. There are different modes of learning vocabulary. First thing is that uh, you should read a uh, newspaper right and not the whole of the newspaper just your specific favorite kind of articles if you are into sports so just read something like that and underline the difficult words and there you will find the whole context as well consult dictionary as well and make a note of that of the whole sentence in your notebook not only the one word but the chunk of that right so and revision is very important when you are making your notes so every day you just need to revise it people say that we forget words so that will definitely be forgotten our memory is already very weak so if you don't give revision to that so definitely it is certain that you are going to uh, forget the word so make notes and often look at the uh, words with the context with the example so this is the thing so, basically the real pronunciation of that is obesity actually that is the right pronunciation, but definitely there are some words which are differently pronounced in American uh, way of communication and British uh, way of communication like in uh, British uh, accent we say or British pronunciation we say glass. So, American accent is bit slanting one it is glass, class, but in British accent that is uh, or British pronunciation that is class, glass. So, this is somewhat different, but both are appropriate, both are just accepted everywhere. So, on coming uh, Saturday, there will be uh, one kind of uh, not extempore kind of that would be some prepared kind of presentation, right. So, you are supposed to speak on it for 3 minutes just and you will be just doing that by uh, you can come here if you can. If not, so you will just be standing on your place and you will present uh, and the presentation topic is the role of media. You can just mention the pros and cons or you can take either one side that is playing a positive role or negative role. So, the role of media that will be your assignment for your speaking, right and there will be uh, I think so full week for you, you can just browse your internet, you can just think from your own mind as you are brainy role of media. So, it will be presentation 
and the duration is just three minutes. You can make notes, you can look on notes, but just points. It will not be just reading, right? You can just get clue from your notebooks, but you will be just speaking. You need to present it, right? So that is going to be role of media in your country. We will just make it more concise one in your country. So it would be three minute presentation just right and try to prepare it that there should be some proper introduction first of all and then there will be some main kind of uh, paragraph uh, that would be there and then you need a good conclusion for that and you will do that within three minutes only okay just three minutes kind of stuff right so you will just uh, prepare this and on the coming Saturday I will give you something regarding writing as well how to write effectively and uh, some new uh, modern expressions vocabulary will be and see so we'll do all uh, three activities as well that is very important so these will be all covered inshallah in our next uh, coming class